Hello everyone! Welcome to General Science Study and Science Bowl Preparation on Thermodynamics. My name is R Cubed and welcome to my Science Bowl and General Science Learning course. My channel is all about STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. Make sure to subscribe and like for daily science preparation, questions, guides, and more. By following my daily videos, you can learn a lot about science. Without further ado, let's get started on thermodynamics. So what is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is the branch of physical science that deals with the relations between heat and other forms of energy such as mechanical, electrical, or chemical energy and, by extension, of the relationships between all forms of energy. The zeroth law of thermodynamics is one of the four laws of thermodynamics, which states that if two systems are in thermal equilibrium with a third system, then they are in thermal equilibrium with one another. Thermal equilibrium refers to the situation where two objects that can transfer heat to each other stay at a constant temperature over time. The first law of thermodynamics states that heat is a form of energy, and thermodynamic processes are therefore subject to the principle of conservation of energy. This means that heat energy cannot be created or destroyed. The law of conservation of energy states that the total energy of an isolated system is constant. Energy can be transformed from one form to another, but can neither be created or destroyed. To understand the second law of thermodynamics, we're going to need to know what entropy is. Entropy is the measure of disorder or randomness in a system. In nature, greater entropy is favored. Now pause the video right here and comment down below what you think uh, which substance has more entropy. The answer is substance B. As you can see, it clearly is more random than substance A. The second law of thermodynamics states that the total entropy of an isolated system can never decrease over time. The total entropy of a system and its surroundings can remain constant in ideal cases where the system is in thermodynamic equilibrium. Quick brain pop, have you ever heard of Maxwell's demon? Well, Maxwell's demon is a thought experiment created by James Clerk Maxwell in 1867, and that's where he suggested that the second law of thermodynamics might be hypothetically violated. So in this experiment, a demon controls a small door between two chambers of gas. As gas molecules approach the door, the demon quickly opens and shuts the door so that only fast molecules are passed into one of the chambers, while only slow molecules are passed into the other. Because faster molecules are hotter, the demon's behavior causes one chamber to warm up and the other one to cool down, thereby decreasing entropy and violating the second law of thermodynamics. This topic is still widely debated today. The third law of thermodynamics ensures that a closed system will eventually reach a thermal equilibrium. The third law is sometimes stated as follows regarding the properties of a closed system in thermodynamic equilibrium. The entropy of a system approaches a constant value as its temperature approaches absolute zero. The third law of thermodynamics is actually really simple. It just states that if something becomes zero degrees Kelvin or negative 273 Celsius or also known as negative 459 Fahrenheit, then its atoms will just stop moving. This temperature is called absolute zero. Hey, let's do a quick recap. Today, we learned about the four laws of thermodynamics, entropy, thermal equilibrium, the law of conservation of energy, absolute zero, and Maxwell's demon. In just a five minute video, we covered so much that will help you in science class as well as science bowl. In my experience, make sure to remember the zeroth law of thermodynamics very well. It comes up in a lot of science bowl and science test questions. Now, I'm publishing these five minute videos every day that will help you become a bet much better at science bowl and ace your science classes in school. All you have to do is either check out this playlist pop up in the top right or just click on it in the description. You can learn so much about science just by subscribing and watching our daily science podcasts. See you in the next video.